Welcome to my channel, Cooking with Sister Linda. So today I am going to be going through the process of picking, washing, and cooking greens. And so as you can see, I have some turnip and collard greens here. And what I usually like to do is I like to leave the tie on um, and rinse the greens. That helps to eliminate most of the grit and uh, sand that's clinging to the greens. So uh, what I do is just rinse them thoroughly and it gets most of it off, not all of it, but it does get most of it off. And so I have four bushels here. I have two collards and two turnips. And so I'm just gonna rinse those thoroughly uh, before I take the tie off, all four of them. And so now we'll start the picking process. And so what I do is I fold them at the leaves where they meet, and then I just pull them away from the stem. And I do the same thing with the uh, mustard, the uh, collard greens. And you just keep folding and pulling that stem off until you've uh, pretty much done them all. Now I know some people like to have stems on their greens because the stems hold the uh, nutrients and vitamins in them, but I don't like a lot of stems in my greens, so I pretty much get rid of as much as I can. It's your choice, it's up to you to eat your own. And so now we're starting the washing process. So you're just gonna fill your sink up with water and just wash with your hand shove them to the left and to the right and then you just repeat the process until your water is no longer green or no longer have um, mud sand grit or whatever else you may see in your greens that shouldn't be there anything that shouldn't be there get it all out and until your water is absolutely clear then you just repeat the process. And so you can pretty much look at the bottom of your sink and you can feel. Now, if you can feel some sand, know that you need to rinse that sink out again and start the process over again. And wash and rinse those greens again. Now, you don't wanna be eating your greens and then bite down on some grit. Absolutely not. Same process for the collard greens. Pick, wash, repeat until you don't see anything else. Now what some people like to do is they like to take a knife 
roll their greens and then cut them. That's not necessary. Take those greens in your hands, twist them, break them up, and keep it moving. That's all you have to do. Not necessary to use a knife. So I did the same picking and cleaning process for my collars as I did my turnips. And so now we're going to get ready and we're going to start um, putting our seasoning in our greens. And I use accent seasoning, season all season salt, and just a little bit of crushed red pepper. You don't want to put a whole lot because you don't want it really spicy. And then again, it depends on you. To each its own, you do what you like. So now we're going to add our smoked ham hock or whatever meat you like to use to season your greens with. Now I know some people say or like to cook their meat separately, but I say it defeats the purpose. Your meat is to season your greens. So if you're cooking your meat separately, how is that going to season your greens? You can add that water back to your greens that you use to boil your meat in, but it's just not the same. I don't think so. To me, it defeats the purpose. All you have to do is make sure you add enough water to your greens, put your meat in there, turn your I down low, cook it really slow for about two hours, and I promise you it will come out perfect. Just cook it slow. Now, I only have one ham hock. Um, now, these greens are going to cook down. When they cook down, it's not going to be as much as it looks like at all. So, what I will do is transfer it to a smaller pot. Trust me when I tell you, if you cook your greens and your meat down low, you'll be just fine. So just let them cook on slow and go on about your business. Come back in about two hours and they'll be ready cooked to perfection so my greens are not too tough and they're not too slimy now i did not have to go back and add any seasoning they're cooked to perfection all you have to do is just let them cook slow i promise you it will be just fine my greens are not too tough and they're not too slimy now if you just let these sit overnight your season will soak in those greens and when you get up the next day to eat these greens they will be so good unbelievable I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.